606 on your Monday, a Fort Myers family in mourning after a four-year-old dies over the weekend. This is just the latest in a series of child drowning tragedies this month. Lee County deputies say yesterday a four-year-old boy drowned in his family's backyard swimming pool on Circle Drive in Fort Myers. Fox 4 Rising's Mark Jackman has more on the safety measures that the family did have in place to try to avoid something like this. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Kelly and Miriam. This is the third childhood drowning death this month in Southwest Florida, and unfortunately, yesterday was a heartbreaking afternoon for one of the families in Fort Myers. Just after 11 a.m., a four-year-old boy drowned in the family's backyard swimming pool. Cooperating with Lee County Sheriff's deputies, the family tells us the boy threw a ball into the pool, placed a chair next to the gated security fence, and climbed over. Once inside the pool, after several minutes of struggling to stay afloat, the family tells Fox 4 the surveillance video shows the boy lying lifeless for a few minutes before help was able to arrive. The boy's father tried performing CPR, but it was too late. At 11.03 a.m., he called to report what had happened. EMS and deputies also attempted CPR to no avail. Investigators put perimeters around the home on Circle Drive as they search for more details. The family too saddened to speak on camera. From a personal standpoint, it's a child, and any time a child is impacted, it, it really works on your heart. The best way to prevent childhood drownings are barriers around the pool, alarm systems on doors that lead to the backyard, supervising children closely around any bodies of water, and teaching them how to swim. Using more than just one of these steps will give you the greatest chance of keeping your kids safe. Live in the studio, Mark Jackman, Fox 4 Rising. <laughs>